Well, the Chinese white dolphin is a long-term uh, residence of Hong Kong waters, so it's part of our natural heritage. And uh, they are quite symbolic in our marine environment because you know they are very charismatic and uh, a lot of people love their appearance because of their pinkness. Ten years ago, we have about 150 aged dolphins uh, regularly use Hong Kong waters, but now we are down to about 61 dolphins left. So that's a 60% decline just within the decade. Uh, many people imagine that Hong Kong has such a busy, uh, polluted harbour that you will not see any marine life here. But, uh, you know, these dolphins have been in our backyard for all these years and they're still uh, uh, hanging on. Back in the 90s, in the last century, there's the original airport construction that resulted in a huge amount of habitat loss for the dolphin. So you know, the dolphin has been affected since then. But recently, in the last uh, couple of years, uh, there's uh, the, the construction of the Hong Kong Chihai Macau Bridge that caused a lot of habitat loss and also uh, a lot of uh, acoustic disturbance during the bridge building process. And looking ahead, you know, there are even more reclamation proposals. One of our major concerns uh, for the dolphin is the, the low reproductive success partly because of the pollution issue. You know, when, uh, when the dolphin uh, give birth to the young, they need to nurse the milk, and usually they will pass on the toxic uh, substance to the baby too. I consider dolphin as my family members. You know, I've been studying them for 20 years. We recognize a lot of individuals, and you know that they are an important part of Hong Kong community, and you want them to you know, continue to utilize Hong Kong as part of their range. So, you know, as a friend, you want to help them. But it's so important uh, to keep our natural environment as, as pre pristine as possible, not only for our enjoyment, but also for our, our generation.